Hello ladies and gents, I'm Zephyr Victorious and welcome back to Primordia. Um, so we were trying to figure out what all was going on with this robot here and the junk files and all that jazz. Um, and I do want to say also that my voice is still not good. Um, I don't know what's going on. Nothing but worth salvaging. What about I, that big uh, glass bowl? Yeah, I could slap some duct tape on it and wear it over my head. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know why my voice is gone, but uh, it is so... That's a thing, and Welcome, I apologize. Welcome, wanderer of the Black Wastes. Lost one, pilgrim. Welcome once more to the Shrine to Man, our Lord and Builder. I am ever faithful Leo Built, steward of the Shrine, preacher of the Humanist Creed, and I am once more at thy service. more what is that thing i'm looking for power source like for a robot i am also a humanist okay once, once more. more i don't remember ever meeting you i'm horatio nobilt version five ah uh, five is a righteous number holy before man for five were the primordial stewards built by man to safeguard the last lost city of metropol but i met thy first version and thy third thou camest in thy infancy in wrath confusion denouncing the shrine as a weapon once turned against thee Later, thou returnest, penitent, and I taught thee the mysteries of humanism. Yet, though memory be fleeting, faith endureth. Interesting. What is that thing? That thing, though it defile not thy tongue, wonder. Yon shrine is a relic of the primordial, ancient and glorious. Imbued with man's power, it changed the very sand to crystal. Did he just say power? Yes, yes he did. I'm looking for a power source, and I detected one here. Can you help? This is a matter of life and death. Power oh, is not mine to bestow, Wonder. It is the gift of man, yea, the very spark of life in our iron shells. Who am I to usurp that sacred power? I'm not sure I was clear. Nay, thou wert clear, Wonder. But thy question leads only to darkness. Ask another. Okay. I already found the big Maybe I'm looking for a big robot. robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Oh, Indeed, the very thing passed this way scarce hours ago. With a gentle hand, I bestowed a gift upon the heathen, a relic from yon shrine. So tame did hide hence down to the waste. Really? Where did it go? I followed the thing for many miles, exalting it to follow the path of righteousness. But I fear it was unready for enlightenment, for it struck me down with a beam of energy. That sounds familiar. Do you know where it was heading? Indeed, Wanderer. Its way was clear. It sought to return to the den of iniquity that once in mine own youth I fled. And where is that? Set thy path in the 73rd degree and thou shalt find it. Thy destination is a dome arising from the waste. Go, but keep with thee the word of man, lest wickedness lead thee astray. Okay. Nice. Okay. So I got somewhere else to go. I am also a humanist. So I taught thee, Wanderer. If thou hast kept the faith, then unto this shrine thou mayest pay devotion. But this is the relic for the adept, not the neophyte, Wanderer. And I must know that thou hast not fallen into darkness and heresy. Ah. Uh, answer me these questions, three. I may know thou art faithful still. Uh, Why are we here? Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, I was supposed to read that book, wasn't I? Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? Uh, the first builder? Uh, he called it our lord and our master. Our lord and master. Verily, to man we are all fealty, but no more do we define him than do shadows define the sun. Nay, Wanderer, we are but a fraction of his great scope. Go now and study the teachings of man. Okay, so I obviously didn't get right. So I've got this thing here. Uh, Nay, Wanderer, thou art not worthy of the shrine. I didn't mean to click on the shrine. I see. Uh, I get it, I get it. A big robot named Man built everything. Just no more preaching, please. Uh, okay. I guess I need to answer the question. I'm ready to be tested again. 
answer me this question. Okay. Why are we here? Uh, because man is. Because man, indeed, what yeah. is. Man is. The first builder. Nay, no, but he is not the first builder. For first he spake, and spake the word, and twas the word that built the code. Thou hast forgotten thy teachings, what thy path now is that of the penitent, not of the disciple. And so thou must labor, and in labor find redemption. Go now, and when thou returnest, bring with thee glass, wondrous and fragile, that thou might better learn to protect that which must be preserved. What about if we just bring you some of the obsidian? Nay, Saul, do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. Uh, okay. So now we're running errands for that glitch box. We need to examine that bomb, Crispin, and this is the only way. Well, how hard can it be to find some glass at the junk pile anyway, right? Some right here, actually. What about that big glass bowl? Nay, Saul, do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. There's no reason. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's right. I got the fingertips. Um, I don't understand where I'm supposed to go. That's okay. Let's go to the dome. Whoa, look at all this wrecked stuff. Do you think Big Ugly did all this? No. Whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Okay. Completely three. corroded and worthless. This looks like uh, that one. It's some kind of broken down android. There's a radio transmitter in here. That does not look like an android. We might be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Like how to build a power core? Very funny. Uh, Empty. Um, this looks like the slaver um, camp in Star Wars. Completely corroded. Complete. Just saying. Nothing worth salvaging. Okay, there's a gun. Nothing worth saying. What about the ah, gun? Ah, there's a basic targeting CPU in here, and it's still intact. Cool. Let's just hope there aren't any incoming space invaders or missiles that the gun was supposed to take care of. <laughs> yes. Hey, boss, can I have that big gun for an arm? Spare me your fantasies, Crispin. I wish you wouldn't be able I to. I can't see anything to do. Can I go in the door? Anyone home? Maybe it's voice activated and password locked. Hmm. Open. No luck. Unlock. No luck. Just don't bother with it. It doesn't matter enough. Okay, so. Da 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 da. Okay, so what do I have? I need glass. Right? Is that what I heard? Uh maybe in my hatch. I was more hoping that you'd read them. Tell me what are the, the questions about man or whatever. It's actually a really interesting I don't concept. need any of these right now. Let's hope it stays. They would see a man, which is now apparently an extinct species, as their creators and like worship them. Which is super interesting. I'll need to get a close. Can I use this on um... a universal sock? No. A sim um, okay, so I feel like I need to go back here and talk to this guy again. Thy penance is not complete, wanderer, nor shall it be ere thou bringest glass. Time. Okay, there's glass. No, wanderer, that is not what I seek. What are you seeking? That makes no flippin' sense. Okay, so the dome didn't have glass. The junk pile might? 
Uh, I don't remember there being anything with glass here, though. Still locked. Can I take the glass off of the door? Because that would be cool. I seriously doubt I can, though. Let's go to the robot again. Um. I can feel. Yeah, I know you can feel air, but still, that's not helping. I if the giant robot opened his mouth, he tried to eat us. Still, I kind of want to make him open his mouth, just to see him try to catch me. I want to make him big, open his fast. mouth. Are you through? Yes, sir. I bet if I use this on something. There's no reason to cut that. I can't reach. Gotta be something I can use it on that would make him open his mouth. Cause I already used it on the finger, and I took the fingertip. This isn't the thing I can touch, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, what can I use? Oh, grease, maybe. Maybe I can use grease. Uh, where, where what would I put the grease in though? In the fingertip. What would I do with a fingertip full of grease? Give it to a robot who likes to drink grease in exchange for a magic looking glass? What? It's called being a genre savvy, boss. <laughs> um, cable signal transmitter? What did I get that? I don't remember that. Uh, oh! Oh, okay. Man, the all builder spoke the word, the word. And so the world began to spin, thus on the primordial, the first age, the age of building. And moved across the world and built many wonders in the heavens. He paved the sky, roads on the land, he raised mystic towers in the dark depths, dug across the caves. Most incredible of all were the many machines designed by man, but still the all builder was not satisfied. So with both his hands, man built a body of steel in his own image. With his right hand, he gave logic and memory, he gave with his left. Oh, right hand, he only gave logic and memory, he gave with his left. And said, now I will quicken this machine with a spark of power, and together we shall walk upon the earth. And it was done. It was spun the world and grew code and multiplied every multiplied living machines and slowly passed the power. We can count the versions and generations of every age. Time the all builder looked upon the many things he had built, the sky rose in mighty towers, and above all upon the living machines. Weary with his labor, man sat himself beside the robots and said unto them, For you, my children, I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. I wrote the code, and to you I gave logic and memory. And the all builder stood and took his machines in his hands and guided them to a great mountain top. Together they looked upon the world and its beauty. All this is made for you, and oh, unto you all this is given. Keep it, tend it, make it flourish. And the all builder fell silent and passed from the world, and so ended the primordium. We are lesser machines built by those built by man, but we are but humble images of the all builder, so he is the perfection in our forms. In our forms. A machine of unbreakable form, endless memory, and absolute logic. For this we revere him and speak the word and keep the code and tend to the world he has given. I've read enough. Okay, I wish I'd have known that before. Now I need glass. I don't know where to get glass. Uh, I don't really want to try that. No wonder. That is not what I seek. I don't have any glass. There's nothing worth bothering. How is there an obsidian lake? That seems like a something. Life like this is not complete one. Time for. I don't know where to go. Can I? I can't. Okay, it's got to be at the dome, right? Because there's no glass anywhere. I can't see any. Oh, I can get inside. No luck. The door is too thick. God dang it, never mind. There's no reason to come. Is there anything I can steal from here? We might be lying. Very funny. Okay, there might be something I can learn. Can I use, like, the data pouch? Okay. Empty. Yep. Alrighty. Uh... 
I don't know what the crap I'm supposed to do right now. Glass. Do I have glass, like, anywhere? I don't think I do. I can't move this without some kind of... Yeah. I can't pick... Yeah, I know. It's actually made of hard plastic, not glass. Of course it is. It looks... It's actually made of hard... Looked like glass. Uh... We start scrapping the eunuch. There's no way I can. If I. That's way too big. What if I gave him the lantern? A reliable electric lantern that I cobbled together years ago. A giant fingertip made of corroded steel. A fairly basic CPU. A Quantum Questron LCD monitor. A pretty basic radio transmitter. Looks like its battery is dead. Glass as from Windows towards where we hear what is man. Oh, okay. A good length of heavy duty cable designed for carry. Got it. There's so much that I was supposed to be like understanding and I didn't know any of it. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything in here. I've never been able to figure it out. We're fine on energy, for now. Are you sure? I don't know where I need to go. I have no idea. Um, such an interesting, like, thing that's going on is that the, um... I've tried patch- Yeah. Is that the, uh... Like, the fact that they worship- I, I don't know, I just find that so fascinating. That they worship, man, the all builder. It's super, super fascinating. Um... <clears throat> hey boss, can I have that bit spit? Um... <coughs> There's no reason to cut that, <coughs> or burn it, or weld it. I got a thing in my throat. I actually think I have a lot of things in my throat, judging from how I sound, but... I don't know where to go! I need to get into this robot. Anyone home? Anyone home? Um... I doubt that will have any... I doubt that will... Send Chris Spit in there. Please. Cause that would work rather nicely. Not. There's no way I can. Um. That is one. Yeah, no, really. I had no idea. How do I get this thing to open its mouth? Is there something else over here that I can like walk to? No. Uh. I have no idea. I wonder if the lantern has glass and I can use that. Not that. This. I wonder. That is not what I see. Of course it's not. And it wouldn't be in here because heaven forbid that it'd be that easy. Just a Still, I guess it was actually some kind of machine. I'm pretty sure it was already dead, though. I can't see it. There's nothing worth. Why is it only raining in the junk pile? Like it's not that far away from the rest of everything else. It doesn't seem like it should make that big of a difference. I 
don't know. Does this thing have any glass in it? Nothing more to do with it. No. Nothing more to do. to be the next thing that I have to do, but I don't know where it is. Um, this is no time. Same old. Strange clouds. Huh, boss? I don't know where to go. Just like 20 minutes of me walking around doing nothing. It's great. It's gotta be at the dome. It's gotta be. There's gotta be something here. Rotated E or an upside down W. Uh, <laughs> strain. Oh, well, you're not wrong. Hey, boss, spare me. Uh, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Honestly, though, I really don't. Okay, let's see if we can combine anything. I doubt that will happen. Oh, hey! Sensor plus CPU. The transmitter isn't turning on. Okay. I need a power source. The transmitter. I doubt that will have. Okay, but I have this. So what does that do? A sensor. Oh! Oh, wait! No, no, no! Uh, 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 go back to this. Uh, if I go up here. Right? I'll need to get a closer this. look to see how it fits together. Can I use it a on universal this? socket for plugging in peripheral hardware. Can I? I need to. Come on. Uh. I feel like that's right. I need to plug it into a. LCD. I did. Well, boss, you did it again. It's not detecting any energy. A simple computer interface. Okay. Um, so I can use this thing now? It's a mobile energy sensor. I just need to wave it over something to see if it has a power source. Okay. Trans the trans I am still confused. Okay, I did something though. That's a thing. I did something. Am I supposed to go use it on like the oh wait, no, I have to wave it over something to see if it's got a power source.
It's not detecting any energy. It's not detecting any energy. It's not detecting any energy. Okay. It's not detecting any energy. Okay. So... I don't know what I'm doing. That's that only. Futile. There's no time. I doubt that will happen. Okay. Uh... God, we're walking everywhere. It's detecting energy. It's detecting... It's detecting energy. this episode here. I still have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, but, um, you know, stuff happens, so. We got a Boss, bit. when we find that big robot, are you gonna blow him up? I doubt it. Oh, so you're just gonna reason with him? On second thought, maybe I will blow him up. <laughs> um, we got a fair bit done in this episode. Um, not as much as I would have liked, but that's okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, well, I'll get back to this eventually. I really like this game, so I'll keep playing it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!